when we introduce learners to the idea of the mean or average, we want them to get a very clear picture in their head of what is going on when you work out the mean. And a visual image can really help in this regard. So here is a story. I have five people and they each have a different number of gold coins. Person one has seven, person two has four, the third person has eight, the fourth person has nine, and the fifth person has two. What you're going to do when you work out the mean of the number of coins is you are going to pretend that we live in a fair world where everybody has the same number of coins. And so what we do is we take all the coins and we put them together. And in that big pile then, we can add up and see that we have 30 coins. And then what we do is we redistribute the coins fairly. And so what we're doing is we're taking those 30 coins and we're dividing them between the five people fairly. And so what each person will then get is six. And that is what the mean is. It's pretending that we live in a fair world where everybody gets the same. So we take all the different amounts, add them together, and then divide them up fairly. This visual picture of what we're doing when we're calculating the mean can really help then in thinking about how things might change. So if we go back to the beginning, here is how um, the coins originally were. Now, how would our mean change if person one, instead of having seven coins, now had nine and a half coins? Well, let's think about what's going to happen when we work out the mean. We are going to put together all those original coins, so that's 30 of them, but then we're still going to have two and a half more coins because person one had two and a half more coins this time. Then when we work out the mean, we're going to again share fairly between all five people. So our yellow coins happen in the same way. Those two and a half extra coins also have to be shared between the five people. So we're going to cut them in half so we can be fair in our sharing. And so what we see is that it's not only the 30 coins that get divided now between the five, but those additional two and a half coins are also going to be divided between the five people. And so the mean will now be six and a half. So person one getting two and a half extra coins affected the mean only by a half because those two and a half extra coins were now having to be shared between five people. So this kind of visual image of what a mean is can be quite helpful for learners. And then asking these sorts of questions um, can help learners really see if they have a good sense of the mean. So if we have the scenario where you've got four runners running a race and you've got them having four minutes, four minutes, six minutes, six minutes as their time and the coach says, oh, I think your average time is going to be six minutes. We want learners to immediately look at that and say, there's no way that that can be correct. Because if you've got four minutes, four minutes, six minutes, six minutes, when you average it out, it's definitely going to come to lower than your six minutes. In fact, you should easily be able to see that averaging that out is going to be, give you an answer of five minutes. Then we can also want them to be able to think about stuff like, OK, if their average, their mean time was five minutes, a team of four members, and one of the team members improved their time by 20 seconds, the new mean is going to be different to what it was. But that 20 seconds is going to have to be divided by 4 because when you work out the mean, you are sharing it between 4 members. And so 
20 divided by 4 is 5 seconds, and so the mean time will have improved by 5 seconds.